You will love his wit and smile When he shares his charm with you He's got a star that can't be denied On me, Pitt's life Come on and listen You will enjoy and learn If you're wise There's talking and singing Everything is there to keep you swinging We're glad you turned in To leave Pitt's life on the Wings of Love, that's a popular song written by, well, sang by Jeffrey Osborne uh, when he was with uh, LTD or maybe before he left LTD. Well, remember that, that name, On the Wings of Love, because there's a wonderful book out there written by this great author, Jerry Sloan, who's a local guy right over in Immokalee who's gone on to become an author whose book is getting a lot of great reviews all around the country. And so we're just delighted to have the author of On the Wings of Love, Jerry Sloan here. Jerry, let's, let's bump cups, man. I'm so uh, honored that I actually got a chance to meet you. One minute you meet me, and the next minute you sit in front of all these cameras. What's that like for you, man? It's thrilling, man. I'm saying it's kind of exciting, but nervous as well. Let's get a chance to take a look at the cover of this book. Uh, the cover, uh, take your time, Diane. Uh, how did you come up with the design for the cover of your book? What were you trying to get across here? Well, I put the angels up there because uh, this guy, every time he tried to embrace the lady, she would take a step backwards, which would be virtually impossible for him to catch her. Mm -hmm. And he loved her beyond all means. Mm -hmm. And that angel, that angel is the way he felt about her in terms of she was like an angel to him? Exactly. Well, I'm talking about he and him and all of that. I don't want to give away your whole book. <laughs> but I, I saw your book as a love story. I also saw it as a mystery, kind of a mystery thriller in a sense. Is that what you were trying to get across in the book? What'd you, how would you describe your book? Well, it got the devil capacity of uh, fiction with re reality. And um, a lot of things from self-use, and I live a lot of it, and, uh, and something that we can rationalize with. Mm -hmm. But I targeted, the, I targeted the, the ladies mostly. Sorry, guys, but I targeted the ladies. I can see why ladies would like this book, okay? Now, uh, also, you get a, we get a chance to go into the thought process of a playboy, of a former drug dealer becomes straight, and, but he still got that playboy instinct in him. And uh, we see how he interacts with, with women and, and the various types of women. Uh, talk about that whole concept that you put together. Well, it's actually a fun book and also a loving book. And um, it just shows you the different, the, the different things that a guy go through. Try, it's not all the time that the guy is bad. Sometimes a woman can make a guy bad. And, um, and I had that in mind when I was writing the book. And, um, and a guy, he started out in the game and pretty much I'm saying he, he seen it, the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. That's where he wanted to be. He was so much in love with this girl, so he tried to take her off the streets. Right, and it's, off, and it's said throughout the book, <coughs> excuse, excuse me, uh, it's difficult for a person to change who they are. Like he's trying to change her to be something else that he wanted her to be and she's trying to change him one of the girls anyway is trying to change him to be something she wanted him to be so it was kind of it was a it was a back and forth throughout the book right yes it was uh when you when people read your book what are some of the comments you're hearing when you go around and you selling your book and you're talking to, to the particularly to the ladies what are they saying about your book they learned a lot or something like that well no a lot of them say you know it hit home they can feel it you know and uh it's like they looking at themselves so much mm -hmm. And, uh, and a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, they, uh, they say, man, they give me thumbs up because I'm saying something that they wanted to say. Now, when I was reading the book, I felt like I was back in the neighborhood. It was like it, the way you wrote the book, uh, the language, uh, how simple you made it, in the sense of anybody can relate to it. But I felt like, man, I can see this in my eyes. This is, this is right here in my neighborhood. You know, the basketball scene and some of the things that you, uh, you even when you went, went, and when the character went to dinner over to one of his coworkers' house, I could just, I could smell the food coming off the pages. What is it about you and your imagination that allows you to be able to bring the pages to life? Well, basketball was one of my, my favorite, I'm saying, hobbies. I, I enjoy basketball, I'm saying, more than anything itself. And uh, so I try to utilize my talents by using the basketball and, uh, and uh, in the backwood cooking and stuff like that in there, you know, and uh, a lot of cliches off in there that I use that we use on the streets. Now, I noticed, we, we, well, we have a phone number on the screen. People can call you for more information on getting your book. 
Uh, but you're available to come out and do lectures, to speak at, at, at book signings and that type of thing as people want you to come visit their organization? Sure. The, um, when, you, uh, when you go out and interact with people and shake their hands and, you, and, and they purchase your book, what do you expect for them to get out of reading the book? Is there like a moral story or something like that? Well, it's similar to Tyler Perry type of movies. Right. And um, yes, I want them to get uh, enjoyment. I want them to, uh, to, to feel what I was feeling them at the time I was right. Now, uh, you, you have an interesting story on how you first started writing. You were telling me about that. Let's go ahead and share with the viewers how you became an author. Well, uh, it first started, uh, I used to write letters back in prison for guys. And some of the guys took it a little further and said I should be writing books because uh, at the same time they was losing their girlfriends and I was uh, writing letters to get them back. And some of the guys said, man, you should be writing books. And I, initially I took it a, a step further and I started to write. Because it, it, you are a success story in yourself that you were once in prison, now you're out of prison, you have a great selling book, you, you turn your life around. I think people can look at you as a role model in the sense that you decide to get on the straight and narrow. So when you were in prison, you were writing these, these love stories, writing these le love letters home for the other prisoners, and then you get out and put it to, was it, uh, was it difficult for you to first get started into you know, becoming an author? No, it wasn't. I'm saying uh, everything is basically just filling in place. And uh, writing was one of my enjoyments, and, and when you enjoy doing something, it's, it's right there. Finally, you're self-published, but you're into, if anybody out there who a real publisher wants to get involved with you, they can. You're looking for that as well, right? Exactly. Okay. Well, uh, the book again, uh, Diane. The book again is on the wings of love. The phone number is on the screen there, Rick. And uh, when you call Jerry up, uh, just uh, tell him you saw him on Leap is Live. You like to get a copy of this book. I really enjoyed the book. I'm going to get your uh, autograph. Let's get your autograph right here while we go off the air. Right now, I'm going to have him autograph this so uh, I can actually say I had a copy of the bestseller. We're going to come back. We'll get a chance to talk to Vivian and find out what's going on in Southwest Florida for Father's Day. All that's happening is happening right here on Leap is Live. So as the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like this fine author, Jerry, who are doing it. We'll be right back. <laughs> 